Hi guys, I am back today with another video. I hope you don't mind that I'm listening to music. We're gonna start by cleaning our faces. I actually kind of hate this product, and this is the Skin Iceland, like, what is it even called? Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Glacial Cleansing Cloths that I just got at Ulta when I was in um, San Francisco. And I don't hate them, but they're just super wet. I'm being gentle now because I've used them before and it took me by surprise, but if you just go at it like a normal face cloth, your face will just like have way too much moisture on it. And it's like slightly, slightly sticky. It's almost like soapy, like I could squeeze this out and liquid would come out, which is not fun. I'm sorry if there are a ton of shadows. It's late at night, so I have like blasting lights on me right now but we'll see anyway this is the palette this is the night owl palette so you can see the colors are very pretty but i just don't know really how to put them together i don't know maybe i just don't know how to use it and the other thing is i was recently in hong kong and i bought two um different like packs of lashes they're blooming 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 and they're the number 20 uh baby point and number 14 lady point and they kind of are shorter than normal lashes, which I like. I don't like it when it goes all the way here to the corner, like, then I cut them. It's much easier for me to apply, like, half lashes. So these are kind of a little bit more than half lashes, so I'm excited to try them out. And I got the Bloom and Glue because I didn't have any lash glue. This is the Stop Spot by Guerlain, and it is basically an anti-blemish balm, and you put it, like, on, dot it onto your blemishes. But what's really cool about it is it's tinted, so I've been using it as a concealer. And am I shouting? I'm sorry. Let's just chill, moon chill, getting ready to go out together. We're having a slumber party and there's nothing to do. So we're just putting on makeup. It's really fun. I'm just wearing a big t-shirt because why not? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with the because I don't really want to, like if there's a lot of fallout, because I might be using dark colors, I don't want to fuck with that. So uh, I'm gonna use my trusty Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love primer potion, but this one is a little bit old, so I've noticed it applies like a little bit strange, but we're gonna just try. Like it just applies super splotchy, so I should probably just throw this shit out but I am disgusting. I feel like I should be zooming you guys in so that you can see this. <sighs> okay, so you are way too close to my face, but I just thought it would be good to zoom in for this eyeshadow look. I just put my primer potion on. These are the beautiful colors that I'm working with. I might just do like a green look. I wanna try the gold kind of, but it doesn't look good on me. I don't know, I really, I just don't know what I'm gonna go for right now, so. Also, are my brushes clean? Like, God, God help me. I'm gonna take some of this light color and put it just like really here. Like, maybe I'll take this cleanish um, pencil brush and just dab it into this color. And like, really just here. I don't have like that much visible lid when my eyes are open. I do have like eyelids, but my eyes are kind of interesting. So I'm just gonna pat it on here. It's glittery. And what I hate about a lot of glitters is like once you put it on, you can't even tell that it's glittery. So it's really annoying in that way. I'm just gonna put it onto my inner corners. I'm just gonna put this on here, on this side. Is like that even happening? Put this here, just like building it. The same pencil brush, but going into the matte white color. And I'm just gonna highlight my brow, brow, brown, brow, brow. a semi-clean blending brush and blend. Problem is there isn't really any gradation of color, so 
I'll probably end up going in with like a black or a brown to deepen the corners. Also, as soon as you blend, all of the glitter comes off. I'm sure I'm using all of this wrong. Please, please correct me. Please enlighten me. I'm gonna just take the leftover of the brush and just go underneath my lash line. Okay. It's looking. It's looking. I'm going into the black, which annoyingly has glitter, and going into my lash line. So this is what it's looking like. It's not, I mean, it's not awful. I'm just taking some of this gold on my finger and going really just in the middle. And then I'm going to blend it back out. Take some more of the super glittery color and put it right in the inner corner. And then I'm going to take a dark color in the outer like V, I guess. There. Just to deepen the Deepen the look, and of course to blend it out, to blend and to blend. Okay, that's what that's looking like. I'm going to try to recreate it on the other eye. Hey guys, I am back. I am sorry for that. My camera died, and um, I just evened out the side, so they look pretty similar. And now I'm going to just add a little more gold, I think, here. Just to keep making it as similar as possible. I might just add the tiniest more bit of deepness on this side. And then blend that out. Like that. I'm just gonna quickly do my brows. I'm using the Eco Brow in Penelope. By the way, have you guys seen the movie Penelope? It's starring Christina Ricci, and she is like this amazing woman with a pig's nose. And it's so cool. It's like a really magical movie. It's super cute. I watched it with my cousin. It's one of her favorite movies. I'm really glad she suggested it. Basically, she was cursed with a pig's nose, and um, she will only ever, according to the curse, turn back or like you get a normal face if someone like her, and she's a blue blood, a blue blooded American, if someone like her falls in love with her. So she is in search of a rich suitor. And everyone is just like terrified of her because of her silly nose and it doesn't even look so bad at all and then she runs away and that is sort of the beginning of the movie definitely for this eyebrow sorry eyebrows I'm just gonna use the Anastasia clear brow gel to set these babies. I don't dislike this brow gel, but it's very wet. And so I feel like it leaves my eyebrows looking very wet and I feel like it's unnecessarily wet. Like, it really doesn't need to be. So I'm gonna take another one of these Skin Iceland face wipes and just clean up um, my under area. Do you see how like moist this is? It's just like too kind of gross. Like you can see the bubbles on it. I'm just gonna clean up underneath my eyes by putting it around my finger and going up. And then doing the same thing here. 
that just gives a crisp look to the sides. I'm gonna conceal my little blemishes with Stop Spot. I'm just going to go in with my fingertips and pop it on. You can see it's like not a bad match to my skin tone. And then just tap it. I like the idea of putting something that's actually good for blemishes over them when doing base makeup because otherwise I just try to let them breathe but sometimes you want to do some makeup. Okay, I feel like I cleaned up too far on the side and not on this side so oops, it's a little bit uneven. I'm gonna go back in with this and just kind of blend it out again. Okay. To continue the brows, I'm just going to do a bit of a lighter color um, on the front bits of my brows just to sort of give a little bit of a gradient effect. It's like a little bit too much product on this brush. Still not 10 out of 10 on the gradient look. And then just uh, drawing a couple vertical hairs with this much lighter brow pencil the Marc Jacobs one in, does it have a name? Do you, Ash Brown. Okay, so then, this is, I think I'm just gonna finish up my eyes and then go and do the rest of my face, so. Dior pencil in Noir Trinidad. And I'm gonna just do my waterline, my upper waterline. And I'm going to take the blender and just blend this out a little more because I fucked it up. <laughs> Eyeliner time. Kat Von D. Ink liner and trooper. Look at that tip. Uh. Kind of fucked up the side a little bit. <sighs> what do you think? How's it looking? Let's see if I can match this wing to the other wing. This side's always harder because this side I'm like this and this side I'm like twisting my hands around, you know? I really find that resting my hand against my face while it may cause blemishes does help a lot. And then getting the angle the same is just annoying AF. I'm listening to Zella Day, by the way. Really like her. I'm just gonna. That is my. Winged liner done. Uh, I will do a tutorial on winged liner for hooded eyes. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Comment in the comments down below. Sorry, I keep looking at that, but I'm trying to look at you. I'm looking at you. I see you. I am now going to deepen this bottom bit with the uh, black color because we're going hard tonight. JK, I'm at home. And staying home. Now I am going to do false lashes, maybe? Shall I try out the falsies? Lady point or baby point, guys? I'm going to try lady point today. So this is what they look like. They're really in there. I mean, they're really not coming out. Okay, here is a lash. I'm going to paint on the glue. Sometimes the glue just like doesn't want to go on the lash. So then I just like dab it on and it goes a little bit better. I also like to make sure I get the corners of each part of the lash so that it doesn't like peel off at the corners. It just didn't go on that evenly. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Like it did not want to go evenly. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna 
wait 30 seconds or something. I may do this off camera, guys, so be right, be right back. I am back and thankfully I got both of the lashes on. It wasn't the most, um, I'm gonna take this out. It wasn't the most pleasant experience because my, I don't know if it was the band of the lashes or the glue, but they're the same brand. But when I put this glue onto the band of the lashes, it didn't want to stick. So it like pulled in little like bubbles, like not really bubbles, but like it pulled in little beads, that's the word. It pulled in little beads and then there were gaps without any glue even though I was painting it on because the lash band maybe was very slick or maybe this is bad glue, I don't know. But it did stick on, so it's fine. And now that they're on my eyes, they do feel quite comfortable. So, and I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply my mascara. So this is just my Shu Umura Lash Curler. And I'm not gonna curl them too hard so that I don't rip out the false lashes that I just applied, but I am going to curl it a little bit just to meld the false with the real and lift them. Yeah, I don't want to do it too bad because I don't want to like fuck it up too much. I'm just going to sacrifice these lashes. Oh shit. I just did it and it like pulled up a little bit here. On this side, I glued the lash band a little bit too high, but thankfully my thick eyeliner is covering it a little bit. I'm going to go in with a lash primer. This is by Dior. You can totally see my real and false lashes, but hopefully that will be covered by the black mascara. I did not do the best job of this, but I hate false lashes, so... It's fine. And then with my Dior Show mascara in um, black noir, whatever. I don't know what it's called. And hopefully they all kind of blend together well. And I'm going for dramatic, so I don't mind if it's a little bit, a little bit clumpy and crazy. The more drama, the better. Look at that eye. It's so good. It's still not really, it's not really blended, but that's fine. Yeah, this side I went to the corner, this side I didn't really properly, so that's my natural lash there, and that's where the last false lash is. So I'm trying to fan it out a little bit more here to give the illusion that I applied my lashes properly. I can never get my lashes to look the same. Do you ever have that problem? Thumbs up if you have that problem and you can never get your lashes to look the same. Okay, and then on the bottom, because I like to keep it natural, I'm gonna put a brown mascara. This is 698, um, the non-waterproof brown Christian Dior mascara. And I'm just gonna put it on a lower lashes. But sometimes I find if I put a black mascara, it looks a little too much and not in a good way. My eyes starting to water. Okay. And that is my eye makeup done and I'm gonna go ahead and do my face so I will zoom out. <coughs> I will zoom out um, and show you guys my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna reposition this. The light might be a little bit strange, but we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Going in with my Giorgio Armani Maestro foundation. Just, oh, the light is so weird, but I'm just gonna drop it on my hand and then pat it all over my face. I'm not using a mirror. A mirror. I love this foundation so much because it has, I guess, oil in it, so it's just very uh, pigmented, but not thick or heavy at all. And so it really gives the skin, the skin look. The look of my skin, but better. The only thing I don't like about doing eyes first is then you have to be extra careful when applying things like foundation and concealer so that you don't fuck up the rest of your makeup. 
This stuff though, it does not make your skin look perfect. Like it will continue to show imperfections under your skin because, or on your skin, because it is just a very, very light coverage foundation. But I love it because of that, because I never feel like overly cakey when I'm wearing this stuff and it just looks very beautiful. And I like it when it looks like my skin is my skin, you know? I don't like that cakey look. If you do, I have nothing against you. Also, sometimes I get the cakey look. It happens to everyone at some point who has ever used foundation. Ugh. I really wish I was going out tonight. I mean, not because it's Monday or is it Tuesday? Just kidding, it's Tuesday. Ooh, I could totally be going out on a Tuesday. Get it? Get it? Get it? But no, I'm just kidding. I don't really want to be going out tonight. But <laughs> I always feel weird like getting ready and <laughs> then just like taking it all off and going to bed. And I love makeup, it's so fun to play with. This is my base done. I'm putting some concealer. This is the Burberry concealer in, uh, what color is this? Number 00 Ivory in like a cute little triangle shape under my eyes to, you know, brighten up the eye area. And um, also like on this area and down my nose to brighten it up. And here. And here. And here. Now you're ready to scare people. But if you don't want to do that, blend. 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 Oh, I kind of miss my music already. I might turn it back on. I hate that it doesn't beep when the movie recording stops because then I don't know until I look up and I don't know how much has been cut off. I feel a little bit ghosty, but we're going to fix that. But first, we're going to bake with my Laura Mercier, um, whatever this is. And honestly, like, I don't know where half of my brushes are, so I'm going to put this on with a brush that has some highlighter on it, so hopefully that doesn't get all over everywhere. Oh, I just, <coughs> I just snorted that a little bit. That was not what I was going for. Jeez. I feel like this is not good for my lungs. Okay. okay. So I'm going to let that sit a little bit. While I do that, I'm just going to put some lip balm. This is slightly tinted on my lips so that my lips are not too dry. They're looking a little crusty. I'm not gonna do a liquid lipstick today, I don't think, but always nice to just moisturize your lips. I'm gonna go back over these little blemishes with the same uh, Guerlain stop spot because my um, foundation sheared them out a little bit. That's enough time for baking. I'm just going to put this brush in the rest of the loose powder, tap it off, go around my face. <sighs> Try not to breathe it in too much because I feel like that's just not good for human health at all. Here, here, get the rest of this off. Ugh. Just go over my whole face. That is done. I am now going to close this devil powder up. I'm gonna put my music back on because I just feel like, I don't know, like, I would just rather be listening to music right now than not. I'm listening to swans right now. Okay, so I don't have a powder um, contour, so I'm just going to go in with this Tarte eyeshadow palette and use the eyeshadows as contour, but I'm going to actually go back in with my bottom mascara because that baking just totally screwed that up, and I did not think about that before I did that. So I'm going to go in with my... Um, I don't know where my brushes are, so I'm gonna go in with this tiny eye shader brush into this light brown and go here. 
here. And do the same on the other side. A little goes a long way. Go along the sides of my head, a little bit on top, mostly here. And then just define the jawline a little bit. And then I like to go under my lip a little bit and in my little chin bumpy area. Chin butt bump. And then my nose here. I actually like to go in with a slightly thinner brush for my nose. Just tap most of it off. Tap it off. And go really kind of light and narrow and bring it into here. I'll be using this brush to blend it out. I'm a little bit nervous that we can sign later on it, but it's okay. Just blend out my nose a little bit. Blend out my chin. My bottom lip. Sorry, am I slouching? I think so. What it is looking like. There's a lot of highlighter on this brush, then in the lights this might end up looking like the full face highlighter challenge, and I hope it doesn't. I'm gonna go back in with a bit more just to increase that because I really blended a lot of it out on the other side. natural but still defined as possible. This brush is a little dense so it's not really meant for blending but I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter and I'm actually going to use my finger for this. Actually no, I'm going to use this tiny tiny brush, tiny weeny brush. Really kind of get it in this highlighter, tap it off a little and then put it right on the tippy tip top of my nose and nose bridge in as straight of a line as possible. And then in the inner corners of my eyes. And now using my finger, I'm just gonna go on my cheekbones. This is my favorite, favorite highlighter in the world. It is the Burberry Spring Summer one. And I love it. And right here on my chin. Okay. My face part is mostly done, so I'm gonna take my hair out. I am liking how it's looking. I feel like the lips are a little too soft. My natural lip color is just quite pinky, so I am going to... I'm gonna try it nudish with gloss, and then if it looks terrible, I'll make it vampier. This is just the Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup um, lip stuff. No makeup, no lipstick lipstick. And this has broad spectrum SPF 15. Sometimes I overline my lips, but if I don't want pigment on my lips, I just will put some tinted lip balm to make my lips look a little bit more voluminous. And then I'm going on with this MAC Like Venus sparkly lip gloss. And I'm going a little bit everywhere. his pink like micro shimmer and this is sort of the look is it done I didn't put any blush this is the Tarte one of the normal blushes I don't think it's limited edition the palette is limited edition but I think their blush is you know, just one of their blushes that they carry okay I feel like with this lip I made it look really cute and soft I could go for a much vampier lip I can't actually see myself well so I'm gonna take a selfie just to, you know, ooh. I'm sorry the lighting's crazy. It's just so late at night and I couldn't figure out my lighting. This is the look. I hope you like it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative. I hope you learned something. Verdict on the Night Owl palette. I actually like this eye look. I don't really know if this is worth it. It does have some nice neutrals, like it has a nice 
matte white. It has a nice brown and a deeper brown, but it doesn't have a lighter brown, so you can't really do just a neutral eye with it. I mean, you could, but I would like a brown in between the white and this darkish light brown. And then this gold, I just don't know if it looks that good on me. I know I'm using it right now. It's just the gold and the green, or the silver and the green. It makes me think of a snake, but like in a cartoony way. I don't know. I like how the look turned out, but I think this palette itself, like I don't think I would repurchase it if I had the choice to. It's an okay palette. Um, it's fine, but is it worth the cost? I'm sure you could just like find a bunch more super beautiful palettes for the same price, you know? I have like lip gloss in my corner of my mouth. Yeah, this is a look. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you have a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Bye!